Hello Scatterventures and welcome to a new video. In this episode we'll be overclocking the Core i7-6950X, a 10-core overclockable monster from Intel. We'll be overclocking the CPU core, the CPU ring, the memory, tryout XMP and we're also having a look at the MSI Game Boost functionality. Alongside the CPU we'll be using the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32GB of D-Scale Trident Z memory and the MSI GeForce GTX 1080 Seahawk graphics card. The total system cost of this system is about 2150 US dollar. All the links to the hardware are in the description below. Let's get going. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First, for the actual overclocking, we'll be going into the motherboard BIOS to adjust all the settings. And then in the operating system, we'll be using four benchmarks. Intel XTU, HWBOT X265 4K encoding, F1 2015 game benchmark and the PC Mark 8 creative workload. You can find all the benchmarks and their download links in the description below. To overclock the memory, we leave the easy mode and go to the advanced menus by pressing F7. Under the advanced mode, we go to the OC menu. Here, we adjust the DRAM frequency to DDR4 3400, set DRAM timing mode to link, enter the advanced DRAM configuration menu and adjust the command rate to one, TCL to 13, TRCD to 13, TRP to 13, TRAS to 26. We leave the advanced DRAM configuration menu and scroll down to adjust the voltages. We adjust both DRAM channels to 1.5 volts. After all this, we save the settings by pressing F10 and go into the operating system. We're in the operating system after overclocking the memory settings. We've increased the memory frequency to DDR4 3400 and adjusted the main timings to 13, 13, 13, 26. Let's have a look at the performance results. Keep in mind that measuring performance is a vital part of the overclocking process, as you want to know how much faster you actually are. In Intel XTU, we have a performance increase of 0%. In HROBOT X265 4K encoding, we have a performance increase of 1%. In F1 2015, we have a performance increase of 0%. In PC Mark 8 Creative Workload, we have a performance increase of 2%. That concludes our overclocking adventure with the Core i7-6950X 10-core beast of a processor. For this, uh, for this video, we used the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard, 32GB of G-Skill Trident Z memory, and somewhat missing the 1080 Seahawk graphics card, also from MSI. If you like this video and you want to see more of this kind of uh, content, be sure to give it a like, uh, also subscribe to the channel. If you think that this system was already fast enough to begin with, there's a dislike button as well. You can find links to both the hardware and the benchmark tools and the overclocking tools in the description below. Thanks for watching.